Hey guys, Sally here. Thanks for stopping by. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you're thinking about this. Today, we're going to talk about getting dirty. Well, actually, we're going to talk about getting clean. Let's roll the intro and we'll get right into it. Okay, so here's the thing. I spend most of my time out in the middle of nowhere without any hookups, limited resources, and so forth. And in fact, I'll show you the beautiful place that I'm in right now as I'm filming this. It really is beautiful. The issue though is that I have limited resources when it comes to the amount of water available and the amount of storage for used water, i.e. the gray tank. And so I do whatever I can to minimize how much water I'm using all the time and still be able to function like a reasonable human being. So here's the thing. Um, I figured out how to hack this for dishes where I use my two spray bottle method. Uh, I've got a video on that that uh, you can take a look at and see how that works. And that saves a lot of water. I mean, literally, I can wash dishes most of the time for about a four day period using less than two quarts of water, which I think is pretty impressive. And my dishes are clean, I'm not getting sick, everything's fine, it's all good. But the next issue becomes how to handle things like uh, brushing my teeth. It's surprising how much water you can use if you just turn on the faucet. And one of the biggest lessons I had to learn off the bat when I started boondocking so much is don't turn the faucet on full force. Just turn it on a little bit and uh, just kind of let the water trickle because you really don't need that much water. But the other thing that I started doing for toothbrushing is I've got a 16 ounce, you know, just a regular old water bottle that I fill up with water. And then that lasts me, because I brush my teeth about seven times a day, it seems like, that lasts me for about three or four days. And again, that saves a lot of water uh, because, and why am I brushing my teeth that often? Yeah, because I'm wearing braces. And every time I take them out to eat something or drink something, I have to brush my teeth before I put them back in. So that's the toothbrushing thing. But then the next thing is, how do I stay clean, right? You know, I am well past wanting to take a shower every day of the week, well past that. But especially when it's windy, I feel much dirtier. And the reason is basically I'm living in the dirt. I mean, that really is what's going on here. So I can't shower every day and stay out for more than about three days max if I were doing that. And I do want to remain clean. So there are a couple of different ways that I found to do it. And I want to share those with you today because I've really been um, liking the way that this is working in, with one thing in particular, but I'm going to give you some alternatives. So I got two different things here. Um, this is called Drench, and they're body wipes. Now, these are not mine. I actually borrowed them from a friend of mine. Um, I have tried this kind of body wipe before. They come in all different brands and so forth. And these are wet. I mean, think baby wipes, only not for babies. And they're big enough that you can do your entire body with them. So that's one thing. And then, sorry, we got a little kit cam problem here. Kit, go around. Come here. Come on. Come here. You want to see Kit while we're here? Here, let's see Kit. There we go. It's Kit Cam. Say hi to the people. Say hi, everybody. Okay, so with the, uh, with the wet wipes, my experience has been that although I get most of the crud off of me and I feel better than I did before I did it, I don't really feel clean. <laughs> I mean, it's like, to me, it's like I've got this almost residue that's left behind from whatever the chemicals and the wet wipes are. And as you know, I'm not a big fan of chemicals anyway. So that's one method. But there's another one that I've discovered recently. And that's, uh, I'm using, it's going to help. I'm going to use, I'm using these things called scrubs. And these are basically little washcloths that come dry. You add a bit of water to them. They lather up like soap. And then you, and, my, and I was hesitant about this initially because I'm thinking, oh great, now I got soap all over me. But interestingly, you can just wipe the soap, or the lather I'm gonna say, right off with a dry towel. And it's absolutely fine and they make me feel clean. So for example, I took a shower yesterday morning 
and then I did laundry, washed my sheets, and I had to make the bed last night before I went to bed, and it was still pretty hot because um, I just got out here yesterday. So made the bed, and now I'm all sweaty. And I'm thinking, I feel dirty. I don't want to get in a clean bed feeling dirty. So I got out the scrubs, put a little water on, and then um, went ahead, dried it off, went to bed. I felt great. I felt like I was actually clean again. So my preference is the dry sponge that you put water on versus the wet wipe that you just wipe. And I'm not going to open the package of Drench for you because everybody knows what a wet wipe looks like and I'm not going to be able to give you anything on video that's going to be really helpful here except showing you a, a wet wipe. But I am going to show you what the scrubs look like when you open them up. So, uh, and they, these come in different brands as well. So I got the scrubs brand and it was, I bought two packages of 25 for $19 on Amazon. And because I hadn't tried this brand, I didn't want to buy much more than that just in case I didn't like it for some reason. So you can buy all different brands and the more you buy, at least with scrubs, uh, the less it costs. So I think if you bought three packs, I think it was uh, instead of 19, $19 for two packs, uh, three packs for $25. So it gets progressively cheaper the more you buy. So here's what it looks like. It's about, what, eight by eight, nine by nine, something like that. And I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of thick. So it's got some heft to it. It feels nice and soft. Dry, you can actually feel whatever they're using to make the soap happen. But watch this. I got a little cup of water here. This is a two ounce cup. And I'm gonna dump some water on this sponge. And I only used about half the water and spilled half of it on the ground. So like one ounce of water, guys. Check this out. Now, you rub it together, and look at that. I have suds. So you can use this on your body, on your head, uh, you know, all over, and then wipe it off, and it actually feels like you've had a bath when it's all said and done. So pretty cool. I'm really liking it. Now I've got wet hands and I didn't bring a dry towel out here with me. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you consider doing something like this? And I got to say, I much, much prefer this using an ounce of water to the wet wipe thing. Um, some people would say the wet wipes might be more convenient and would save more water. And I guess that might be true. But let me know what you prefer. Which would you do? Which would you not do? And as always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and always remember to sally forth, live your best life, go out and adventure in whatever way works for you.